This conference will now be recorded. Right. right, let's start today's session. In the last session, we were discussed about uh, log files and uh, also we were discussed assertion. And next, uh, we will today we'll see pandas and matplotlib. So before going to continue, I need to explain some pandas and matplotlib. So what is pandas and, and how do we work with pandas and matplotlib? Pandas and matplotlib. See, pandas is for Python data analysis. Pandas stands for Python data analysis python data analysis <clears throat> pandas for python data analysis <clears throat> pandas means python data analysis matplotlib means matplotlib means mathematical plot plot means diagram library Mathematical plot library. This is matplotlib. Pandas for Python data analysis and matplotlib means mathematical plot library. This is for data visualization. Data visualization purpose we use matplotlib. Data analysis purpose we use pandas. And next in pandas, there are two things are there. We will work with pandas data series. Data series. Data series means after analyzing the data, we can represent the data in single dimension array structure. Data series means single dimension array structure. Next, data frames are there. Data frames. Data frame is nothing but two dimension array structure. Two dimension array structure that is data frame rows and columns are there using pandas we can create data series and data frames also data frames and data series data series means single dimension array representation data frames means two dimension array representation and most important thing is pandas and matplotlib completely designed and developed on top of the numpy <laughs> behind the scenes numpy through this pandas and matplotlib was designed numpy through <clears throat> numpy stands for numerical python internally pandas and matplotlib was designed and developed by using numpy okay using pandas we will do two things like data series and data frames in the analysis part Data series means data can be represented in single dimension array format. Data frames means data can be represented in two dimension array format. Two dimension array format. Matplotlib means mathematical plot library. So we can use data visualization purpose. See, sometimes when we have huge number of records, if we represent that is in row format or in the table structure format, we cannot get the proper information. We cannot analyze the data properly. Same information we can represent in visualization format, then easily we can understand by looking the diagrammatic representation. Easily we can analyze the things. That is data visualization. Okay. Now, first of all, <coughs> to work with pandas and matplotlib compulsory, I strongly recommend to download and install this uh, uh, libraries so let me create one program just uh, data analysis i'm just giving the program name now when we try to import pandas you can see in my computer pandas is coming the by default and import matplotlib also i can see matplotlib is also coming because already i have installed in your case when we try to import this pandas and matplotlib it won't appear so at that moment what we need to do 
we need to install it here explicitly. How to install this Pandas and Matplotlib image? Installation process is this one. Click on File menu. Click on Settings. Once we click on Settings, now you can see in the uh, left hand side there is a Python project. Is there Python at 10 a.m.? Python interpreter is there. You can click on plus symbol and you can in install any Pandas or Matplotlib like this. Pandas I'm taking here. Already it is installed. That's what it looks like blue color. Same way you have to use Matplotlib. Matplotlib. <laughs> we can set the library which you want to install. Matplotlib I'm taking. Matplotlib here. So this is mathematical plot library here. Click on install package. Once you install, so this is Python plotting package. <laughs> PyODBC also you can install, no problem. So now you can see PyODBC, Python database connectivity. Why it is not working? PyODBC, PyODBC. So already I have installed PyODBC. Once we click on install, it's there. <laughs> So PyODB cells, it is not required at this moment because this is for only database connection, not required for us. So I have already uh, already installed uh, uh, Pandas and Matplotlib. So that's what let's start with programming part, a simple programming I'm telling in this Pandas and Matplotlib because I'm not a data science faculty, so I'm not getting into great detail in the data analysis part and all. Just I'm going to give brief introduction about in uh, <clears throat> Pandas and Matplotlib. Yeah, you can share the screenshot in WhatsApp group. If it is not working, then what is the problem? I can read the error actually so that I can assist you. So I'm going to prepare first uh, a simple programming using Pandas. So import Pandas. Import Pandas. And now I'm going to create empty series s equals to s equals to pandas is a module name dot series is a function name s c r i s series is a function name. print yes I'm taking print yes this is empty series actually whenever I try to run this now you can see empty series is coming this is empty series now again deprecation warning is coming but to avoid this warning better to manage this uh, into my program already we discussed warning if you want to uh, hide this then deprecation warnings are usually come into the picture this we can include so better to include here now you can see warnings we are providing this now you can see this is empty series sir actually the series is a single dimensional array structure data type that empty series default data type is cloth 64 data type is now even we can use import pandas as pd also <clears throat> import pandas as pd pd means alias name we can use pd dot series now s is a series name empty series is prepared see most important point i i forgot to tell you whether you are going to anal analyze the data or visualize the data make sure that compulsory you should pass your data as input yes you must and should pass your data sir without giving input then you will not get any output so what way you want to analyze do you want to analyze the data then pass your data or do you want to visualize the data then also you have to pass your data if you don't pass your data and if you don't uh, uh, pass your data then how we can analyze how we can visualize that is not possible so your data input is very important in what way in what way you are giving input is no matter it is like list format string format tuple format dictionary format set format data structures are there no python data structures all data structures are important here in this moment because we have to supply your data in the form of any data structure then pandas and matplotlib will take care of anal analysis part and visualization part in that case so this is the case actually let me show you one uh, I'm going to pass numpy array as input. So that's what I'm importing numpy. Import numpy as np. np is alias name. I'm giving my input is array a equals to a is array name. 
okay np dot array i'm taking i'm creating array here np dot array what array i'm creating just i'm creating simple character array a b c d like this array. i'm just creating this character i am passing this array as input to my series just i am passing it now this time it will create what actually single dimension array structure series will create with index pass index is what 0 1 2 3 like this array is what type actually object type so data type is object type only. and if you want to provide your own index values you can provide your own index values like 1 2 3 4 like this. index equals to i don't want index starts with a 0 I can give my own index like this one two three four indexes are there one two three four a b c d array elements are created but always data is not required in array format only any format you can pass for example i want to pass my data uh, in dictionary format can i pass dictionary format yes obviously suppose here i'm passing my input is dictionary format here so i'm passing input is dictionary format so now you can see data equals to data equals to data equals to. i'm passing in dictionary format so how to pass dictionary format curly brackets open curly brackets close curly bracket here i'm giving a uh, dictionary key okay so imply id imply id keys imply id now you can see what is dictionary uh, value i'm taking dictionary imply id one two three four i'm taking just give me one second why pycha meter is not uh, responding well it is become slow one two three four is dictionary key next to what key here imply name okay imply name is sai then next to what is this uh, imply address then hyd like this we have many records are there for example if we have many records then i want to pass this uh, data as input to the dictionary then you can see automatically the indexes will be created. Now, employee ID one two three four, employee name, employee address, employee data object is like this. This is arranging clearly format here. Who is arranging this? The series function will prepare this, taking input from the dictionary and arranging them into in the single dimensional array structure format. Row wise it is like a dictionary format. So like this, you can pass any values here, no problem. For example, if any uh, uh we have a dictionary here but if you want to give any index separately then you can give index also no problem so i'm giving index index equals to like this what indexes i'm taking here suppose ead is index okay e name is index e name age is index now e address is index but actually one of the key is not there age key is there age key i'm not sub I, I don't have age key in the dictionary at that time what it will happen age key here you can see it's not a number n a n is nothing but it's not a number that means this associated key is not available in the dictionary format that's what it is leading to not a number only this is series creation process here this is empty series i'm creating but not only dictionary format we can pass any values yes now you can see i'm going to show you uh, with a list of format i'm going to create series with a list of format my input is list at this time let me create list of format and now i'm oh sorry i'm going to use list of format here this is my list or else directly we can pass the data also as a list only no need to take this all the inputs like this directly we are passing list of format what i'm passing list of format here just you can give any uh, list values like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. These are the list of values. Indexes by default will prepare what? 0, 1, 2, 3. If you don't want 0, 1, 2, 3, you can use other indexes also, no problem with that. Okay. Here we can use this uh, print the S of something like this. List slicing also, we can do this S of 1 column 4. 1 column 4 means 1 index, 2 index, 3 index. Only these values will come, remaining will not come here. We are getting separate values, one column, four units. This is data series creation, simple way to do this. Same, similarly, we have to prepare a data frames also. I'm creating DF equals to, PD is a alias name of the founders. D type is 64, yeah. 
it depends on data type float type of uh, the, the values based on the values range so 64 bit signed integer okay uh, float type that is uh, float type float 64 that is de depends on values based on that it will be assigned the signed integer 64 bit 32 bit signed integer like that pd dot data frame is option is there pd dot data frame is there empty data frame i'm preparing as i said that empty data frame in the sense it is a rows and columns it is two dimensional array structure data frame is nothing but two dimensional array structure columns and indexes are there this is two dimensional array structure empty data frame for this data frame i have not supplied any data let me supply the data to the data frame here so what data i want to supply here you can see nested list i'm supplying data equals to nested list i'm supplying nested list means what just the name is sai then age is 45 next name is durga age is uh, 42 then next name is uh, mohan age is 38 and next name is uh, manoj any name just uh, age is uh, 46 i am supplying this data it is a nested list this nested list i am supplying input to the data frame then automatically it will arrange that into two dimensional array structure you can see rows and column wise zero column one column like this if you have multiple values also we can use multiple values like for example i'm taking name age address i'm taking hyd and all the nested list values i'm giving here name age address so now coming to this hyd address or any address we can give no issues of that so three columns are there no sir but by default, the column values are 0, 1, 2 only. Indexes will be there here. But I don't want to use indexes in this case. I want to use column names. How to mention column names? Yes, here we have to supply columns equals to COLU, MNS columns equals to what columns I'm mentioning? Name is one column. Uh, age is one column. Age is one column. Next address is one column. These columns I'm supplying as input to the data frame. Once I start this, now you can see we got this. Uh, column values name age address even if you want to give indexes also you can give indexes separately clearly so i'm giving here index equals to index equals to so i'm taking row one row one row two row two row three row three like this we can pass any indexes values and row four row four so column values you can decide and index values you can decide we can arrange that indexes clearly this is i'm passing input in the form of nested list but the data
sorry for the inconvenience now coming to this here i am just passing here nested list sir but we, we, it is preparing data frame is preparing what actually a data frame is preparing completely rows and columns format here rows are there and columns are there clear rows and columns so it is preparing like this only we are passing data input in the form of uh, nested list but it is arranging you clearly in format here now coming to this, we can also pass dictionary also. Dictionary through, we can able to uh, uh, get the data frame. Instead of nested list, we are passing here. Dictionary, I'm passing here. But at the time of dictionary passing, you need not to use anything here. Now you can see, close this. And uh, here I'm passing dictionary format. Like this. Here I'm taking name. Name is one key. Values I'm passing into uh, different list only here. Sai and Mohan, Mohan and Raj, like this. Now another key I'm passing here, ages. Age is one more key and values are list format. 23, 45, 67, like any eight number of ages we can pass it just. 67, 34 like this, okay, this is. Now coming to this, we are passing how much size of data it can handle in my office black file size is 20. it can be handled any any size no issues at all okay yes now you can say data equals to name sai mohn is we are passing two keys with two list values and same input i'm passing to the data frame and once i start now you can see we are getting this uh, same uh, data frame preparation so it is saying array size should be same length only, but we miss some length is different because we are giving three values, but we are taking two values only. Now you can see it's arranging data frame for you, name and age indexes also clear. So this is, but how many, if you want to add more records, you can add more records also. For example, here, Ganesh is one, and the record is like this, uh, 43 and four records are available here four records are available now we can see printer if i want to print some uh, last records like df dot tail function is there a a i l tail of two records last two records i want to get this then tail function is required last bottom records we are getting two records two and three and head function is there here you can see head the H -E -A -D, head function is there Head of two means head section two records are getting like this. Two hours, two records are getting. This is data frame creation using it with any format like this. You can use uh, dictionary, you can use list, you can use any other things here. Now next I'm talking about a uh, few examples. Matplotlib means mathematical plot library, how to create simple plots we can create and uh, bar graphs we can prepare and uh, what we can say scatter plot uh, what is that diagram name i forgot that is stack plot and also pie chart this kind of diagrams you can prepare using matplotlib so i'm importing matplotlib already have included matplotlib in my uh, computer i have installed so let's import matplotlib here from matplotlib mathematical plot library i'm importing this one import pi plot pi plot python plot it is as plt means plt means plt is alias name of pi plot matplotlib is a main library import pi plot pi plot as plt so i'm importing this python plots as plt here okay this is sub library plt is having so many functions plt dot shows plt dot title like this one so i'm going to prepare the graphs here first i'm going to prepare simple graphs so graphs means compulsory we have to pass x coordinate values y coordinate values here i'm passing x coordinate and y coordinate values i'm passing here 
So x values I'm taking here. X values, you can take any values like this, four, seven, two, four, five, six, like this. Y values I'm taking here, y equals two. Then two, three, four, five, seven, I'm taking. These two are input values. Then I have to create a plot by using these two values, plt dot, plt dot, plot. PL what is a plot and I'm passing X value and Y value is input only. If you want to show the diagram, then we can go to show option is there. PLT dot show. PLT dot show. So X coordinate, Y coordinate values already I pass. Then we are arranging the graph here. Now it will prepare graph for you with the X coordinate, Y coordinate values. You can see it takes time to load. Now graph is created here based on your values. You can also compare x coordinate value 4. x coordinate value is what? 4 here. y coordinate value is what? 2 only. y coordinate value is 2 means here 2. x 4, y 2. Next is x coordinate value 7. y coordinate value 3. x coordinate value 7 means where it is? This is. y coordinate value is mean 3 means it is. Here it is. Next x coordinate value 2, y coordinate value 4. x coordinate value 2 here it is. y coordinate value is 4 here. Like 4, 5, x coordinate value 4, y coordinate value is what? 5. Now here it is available. Next, x coordinate value 6, y coordinate value 7. x coordinate value 6 is there, y coordinate value 7. Here it is matching. You can change the numbers. It automatically, the graph will also change. For example, I'm changing the numbers like 4 and 1 and 3 and here 9 and here it is 6. Now total graph values will be changed. Based on your inputs only, the graph will be prepared here. What graph is preparing here? This is. Okay, yes. But there is this is very simple graph. There is no title of the graph. There is no X coordinate, X labels, Y labels. Let me prepare uh, by including X label, Y label, all title of the graph, all these things clearly here. So I'm going to prepare here uh, two graphs with all the options. Okay, X coordinate values I'm taking here. Uh, or else we will go through two graphs I'm going to prepare in the same program. X1, Y1. X1, Y1. Okay, now here I'm taking X2 equals to Y2 equals to like this. X2, Y2. So X1 values are I'm taking 5, 8, 10. 5, 8, 10, I'm taking. <clears throat> Y1 values I'm taking like 12. 16 or 6 whatever the value now here i'm taking randomly like 6 a 9 11 and y2 values two graphs i want to create here at this moment okay just i'm taking 6 15 and 7 any values you can take that is your wish two graphs i want to prepare and i'm preparing plt dot x1 y1 x1 y1 okay next plt dot x2 y2 x2 y2 Two graphs I'm preparing x2 and y2, sir. That's all x2 y2. Now I want to prepare title of the graph plt dot title t i t l e title. Then title is my graph graph title is simple graph. I'm giving my title name is simple graph. Then plt dot x labels function is there. X label means x label value, x axis values I'm taking x axis I'm taking. Then plt dot y label means y axis i'm taking y y axis y axis y axis now let's try to create a graph here it will prepare title of the graph and x coordinate values y coordinate values were already given now you can see simple graph is my title and x axis is x values y axis is y values this is clearly available okay in this case now coming to this, here the color of the graph is default color will be there, like blue and orange. We can change the color of the graph also. How to change the color? In the data visualization, color combinations are there, like color characters are there. Color character means like G for green. Okay. So G for green, B for blue, or C for cyan, G for green, C for cyan, K for black, M for magenta b for blue y for yellow okay these kind of things are there 
So G and C I'm taking. G and C I'm taking means colors are changing here in the graphs. Like first graph is color is available in green color. Second graph is available in cyan color. Cyan means visible. And you can also <coughs> Uh, mention the thickness of the graph line width i'm taking line width equals to five i'm taking here also i'm taking line width equals to five line width equals to five so line width equals to five line width equals to five once i start this now line width is increasing thickness of the graph here you can see line width is five only this is line width but here which line is for which graph i cannot find out here so that's what i'm giving some labels here labels label equals to label equals to i'm giving line one this is label one more label i'm taking here so label equals to line two i'm taking here line two line two line two second line but how i can recognize whether it is line one which color of the graph is line one which color of the graph is line two how i can recognize labels are so not displaying why we should take these labels as yes, these labels are helpful to find a legend attribute is there legend plt dot legend is there legend legend means what you know using legend function we can able to find the line numbers clearly so for example if i am trying to use this this is line one this is a legend option line one green color line two cyan color Okay, you can color option is that is your wish. Magenta color I'm taking, and uh, what we can say uh, K for black color I'm taking. These two lines I'm taking here. Like color combination, that is your wish. You can change it, no issues at all. This is the thing section. And you want to provide grids. Grid means so horizontal grid, vertical grid option is there. Grid option is there. Grid option. Grid. 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 Grid equals to true. I'm taking. And grid color also, if you want, then color equals to grid color yellow. I'm taking yellow lines, vertical and horizontal lines. I'm going to provide for this uh, simple graph. This is actually a simple graph option. You can see yellow lines are available, horizontal, vertical lines like this. Okay, these are the simple graph we can create. And at the same time, we can also prepare bar graphs also. In this case, I used what actually simple graph and bar graphs also we can create. So, bar graphs purpose. Uh, uh now you can see legend is not required grid is not required x label y label you can sim bar graph i'm preparing here bar graph <coughs> this i'm going to remove this <coughs> completely i'm removing now bar graphs i'm preparing plt dot plt dot bar is a function and you can mention the values one three five nine Okay, one three five nine. This is just one three five seven nine. Odd numbers I'm giving. This is one graph I'm preparing. Then comma I'm taking five seven eight two three like this. Just next plt dot next bar I'm preparing plt dot bar bar two I'm taking two four six eight ten. These are the even numbers. Now I'm preparing one more thing. Like this. Now you can see here two graphs I'm preparing. Then I'm taking labels also here. Okay, label. Label equals to bar one I'm taking. Label equals to bar two. Bar two here. Label equals to bar one, label equals to bar two here. Bar two. Bar two. Now colors, if you want to give, then you can use use also color combination. Which if I don't use colors, then default bar colors will be there. X label is X axis, Y axis here it is there. Bar title is like this, but I am showing this bar graph here. If I am not taking any color of the graphs, default color will be affected. Bar, bar height, and all these things will be affected on only numbers. If you change the numbers, then it is going to be changes. Bar also changes. Based on these numbers only, it is affecting bar. And I'm going to give colors here. Suppose here I'm taking color equals to C O L O R equals to 
uh, what color I'm taking, <clears throat> yellow color first. Then I'm taking uh, COLOR equals to G, green color. And so two bar colors, I'm taking this, then two bar colors are available here. This is bar graph. That is your wish. You can take any bar like this one. And I'm, I'm also taking like uh, one more plot I'm preparing like uh, scatter plots I'm preparing. Scatter. What is scatter plot? How to work with that? We'll see now. SCA, TTR, scatter, scatters. In some dot lines will be there. Okay. So for this, I'm taking X coordinate values, Y coordinate values, and I want to use for that scatters. So X values I'm taking <coughs> randomly. You can take any values, 3, 7, 2, 3, 8, 9. Okay, these are the scatters of x coordinate. Y coordinate values I'm taking like 5, 8, 9, 5, 6, 3. So I want to prepare scatter plot here. PLT dot, PLT dot, SCA TTR, PLT dot, SCA TTR scatter. And it is expecting uh, input values, X and Y coordinate values I'm passing. And now I'm taking <coughs> a normal. A scatter I'm preparing x and y scatter plot it is how scatters will be prepared you can see this in this case only normal dots will be appearing based on these values like blue color by default dots will be appear based on these values and I'm taking more values here now you can see seven three four and now you can see I'm taking six one two so more scatters will be prepared like this based on the values Okay, but this is by default blue color. But my requirement is I want to change the color of the scatter is COLOR color equals to red, R for red. <coughs> okay, <coughs> size S equals to 90 is the size, scatter size. And uh, marker equals to what is the scatter style you want to give? Marker is star I'm taking. So now you can see color red size is 90 marker equals to star means total this size will be displayed object s equals to uh, s is not there s equals to yeah 90 s is not there just give me one second color equals to k it's okay s equals to 40 marker equals to star what is happening here <coughs> Text objects has no property called yes. Where is that? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we are passing, sorry. This is wrong. No, no, no. Uh, this is completely wrong. We are passing where we are passing. In the title function, we are passing. Actually, we should pass here only. That is my blunder mistake. Yeah, yeah. Title function, if you pass, what it will do? So it's not going to do anything. Now let's run this. We got this scatters. Here you can see star marks to red color star marks is appearing here. What the way you want, you can go through scatter like this. Size also increment like this one. You can have plenty of options, but I cannot include all the options. It takes a lot of times. Yeah, it will be easy only. So that's what Matplotlib can make. Uh, our requirement is very easy to visualize the things. But we have still two programs are there. Let me explain the two program by just copying and pasting. If I write like, it will take time. So I'm going to copy and paste that code. I have already uh, the code. These are examples are there which I have written my previous classes. And I hope you received this documentation also, Python rare folder. Yes or no? Please confirm this. This total documentation you received rare folder. Everything is there in this rare folder. Yes, yes. Did you didn't receive that? Rare folder. This come. Okay, you received no. In that it is there completely. Yeah, yeah. You can check it. If not, then I'll send it again. In that, you just check it once. Python folder and pandas matplotlib libraries are there. You can see pandas and matplotlib programs are there. It is browser icon 
just click on this. And previously, I write this code completely Pandas program, Matplotly program in uh, Jupyter notebook. That's what it's look like. And I want to show you these examples now. Yeah, I will. Uh, this also this is there in that Python run folder. Yeah, I will send the notes also. Don't worry. Uh, uh, please uh, try to understand the problem. For sure, once I prepare PDF, for sure that I will sure I will share you only because I am working on it for you only for my students only. I can share to you for sure that, but it takes a little bit time. Now I am copying this and paste into code here. Now you can see this is uh, what part stack plot I am preparing. Now observe here days are there one two three four five five days calculation I am doing here. And sleeping activities, eating activities, working activities, playing activities purpose. But activities also, I have not taken these uh, values randomly. Day one activity, sleeping eight, seven hours, eating two hours, working seven hours, playing eight hours. If we calculate this 24 hours format, seven plus two, nine, nine plus seven, 16, 16 plus eight, <clears throat> 24. Day two, how much time is spent sleeping eight hours? Eating three hours, eight plus three, 11. Working eight hours, 11 plus eight, 19 plus paying five hours, four, 24. Like this. So I'm going to create a simple plot with uh, two square brackets. Why? Because one is day's activities, another one is these activities. Colors I'm giving M for magenta, C for cyan, R for red, K for black. Labels I'm preparing, line width I'm preparing. Now I'm taking stack plot function. It is I'm passing all inputs to this and also. Colors also I'm passing in the list format. What colors are there? X label, Y label, stack plot, less than attribute is there. When we run this, simply it will arrange you <coughs> completely stack plot format. Now you can see sleeping activity. This in the middle of the week, sleeping is increasing. Okay, playing activity is black in the last weekend, playing is increasing. Eating is here in the first week. Uh, eating is reducing last weekend it is increasing like the second total increase decreasing so this is just a flow we can able to maintain this is stack plot here and we have one more plot is there like uh, last plot i'm going to use pi plot here this is pi, pi diagram here pi diagram so this plots easily we can prepare i'm just showing this only simple examples but actually in the data visualization data analysis there is, there is rapid uh, uh, scenarios are there that is useful for data scientists and mathematic uh, statistical analysis programmers. It's not required for us. I'm preparing here. This is uh, uh, what is that uh, pie plot? Slices means parts. This is also 24 hour part. 7 plus to 9 plus to 11, 11 plus 13, 24 only. Activity sleeping, eating, working, playing. Colors C, M, R, B. C for C, M, M for magenta, R for red, B for blue. PLT dot pi slices I am passing. Labels, activities I am passing. Colors equals C, O, L, L, I am passing. Start angle is 90 degrees. Shadow equal to true I am taking. If I take false, there is no shadow is there. And explode also I am not taking. Zero I am taking. Auto percentage I am using here. Okay. Now let's run this one. I will show you, I will show you clear details. One by one changing options here. By default, the pie diagram is look like you can see 29 percent is sleeping, 54 percent is playing, 8.3 eating, 8.3 working. Suppose one of the portion, <coughs> CM bar B means color names. Yeah, C for cyan, M for magenta, R for red, B for blue. You can change any color names, no problem. See, if you want to highlight one one part, see whenever you look the diagram. So if you want to highlight one part, okay, you want to make audience attention focus on that part only, then we can we can explode that. Suppose I am exploding this only, 0 0.1 exploding, first part. First part is what sleeping. So automatically the explode, whenever the part this will come out from the diagram, generally our focus should be on that part only, you know, which part is coming out, this part is coming out. So focus will be on this. So making focus, then we use this kind of techniques. Okay. And uh, shadow equals to true. I'm taking true. I'm taking shadow. Suppose eating activity focus I want. So then 0 0.1 I'm taking shadow equal to true. Also, I did shadow means completely when the diagram is available, the behind the scenes, some shadow is going to be affecting. So that shadow is available slightly slab. 8.3 eating is exploding like this. 
this is only values, but this value is based on this number. So if we change the numbers, for example, I'm reducing nine only here. Nine. Here I'm increasing uh, four and two. Here I'm taking four. Seven plus four. Seven plus four. Eleven. Eleven plus four. 15, 15 plus 9, 24. Then the this will be increment automatically. Now you can see. This is 37.5 playing, 29.2 sleeping, 16.7 eating, 16.7 working. Then this is the diagram exploding option. And start angle 90 degrees. I'm taking 180 degrees. 180 degrees means the diagram will be rotate like that. 180 degrees rotation is there. 180 degrees rotation is there. So this is completely Matplotlib basic examples, pandas, and I have included this in this. This you can check it. So this rare folder also have uh, in, uh, what we can say, completely send that documentation to you. You can check it once, okay? This is Python rare folder. I think I sent this, you can check. If not received, then you can let me know that so that I'll resend it once again here. So this is about Python core and advanced and uh, feel free to communicate anytime through whatsapp even if you want to rejoin the sessions you want to you want to attend one more time my python classes without paying any fee please let me know that so i will allow you to attend the classes sir, certificate sir certificate sir certificate you can contact to durga soft then you can ask them to course completion letter you can uh, you can give the details what name you want in certificate course duration and all the details they will ask you can give that once they will prepare with a clear stamp and uh, durga soft logo and uh, attested signature and sign they will send the online or you can collect the physical copy by visiting durga soft institute at amir Bay. and uh, sir one more thing sir. question and answer regarding if uh, we are going in interview what are questions they will ask that that type example question send all sir yeah i have sent already i have clearly mentioned in my documentation also i think you have not seen the documentation this, uh, this rare fire which we have sent now that one i have still not open yeah you have to open it and check it it is there all that interview questions and all okay okay sir if any questions still furtherly you can please contact through mail or phone number also we have you can feel free to call me or whatsapp me i'll help you regarding that no problem at all okay yes enjoy the class sir <laughs> and uh... You have taken the uh, code in Python. I like it. Because fine, fine. Thank you. Mr. And uh, they were taking in Notepad, and uh, we are expert, and I was not getting that. But in Python, I'm getting help, so I started understanding it. Okay, fine. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you for your patience and your support. So have a nice time and. Uh, Please go through preparation well and get the success. It's easy to crack the interview with this details enough. And if this is the right thing to enter into IT industry, please try hard. It's not a big deal to get a job on Python, okay? So if any assistance you need from my side, I'll always be here for help you. Please feel free to contact me at any time. Have a nice time, bye. And don't exit from the group, WhatsApp group. You can still continue. So I will keep on post the questions and you can see this at least uh, communication purpose. Okay, yes.